How's it going guys? It's the Freshwater Freak here. I'm going to teach you guys how to make whole fry Wisconsin perch. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty. Well, we made it. I've got my pile of stuff. I'm going to go around here, drill a couple holes, try to find some fish first. And then we'll uh, take it from there, I guess. So, let's drill some holes. Well, we found weeds, so I'm just going to end up taking the big camera with my Garmin, put the GoPro on, and see uh, if I can find anything, so. Alrighty. Not a hundred percent as to the whereabouts of how much everybody can see because this thing doesn't have a fucking screen on it. All right, let's go find some fish. Ugh. Just give it a minute to buffer, I guess. Oh, there we go. 6.3. There we go. Nice. Nice little perch. That's about what we're after right there. Well, there's fish in this hole, so I'm sure there's fish in that hole. All we really got to do is, uh, well, we're going to drill a couple holes in this area in the six and a half to almost seven foot range because that seems to be where they're at and then we're gonna move all of our stuff over there so Ugh. drill 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 oh, all right let's check these three four holes three three holes one, two, three, four. Why not? Let's check these, see if there's fish in them, and if there is, I'm just gonna set the shack up probably on these two. So
6.7 with a fish on the bottom. Ah, little guy, little perch. Find it on the bottom. Rough a little bit. Ah. Right here is good enough. Got a hole right here, got a hole right here. Hole behind me, I don't think I'll be able to reach all of them in the shack, but we're gonna set up the shack and then we're gonna get a little nice and cozy, I guess, so. Ta-da! Man, it's bright out here. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna pack snow around the shack and then, uh, yeah, let's get in there, catch some fish. All right, so I got that rod set up with a bobber and a minnow for anything slightly bigger that swims by anyway. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're uh, fishing. Ugh! Oh yeah, I gotta get all my crap off my bucket. And I'm gonna close this up just because it's bright as hell in here. There. Well, I don't know how that is, so. Alright. Get extra slush out of the hole. There we go. Now we're... Now we're big time fishing. Big mark. Big mark. Like, giant mark. Come on. Come on, big boy. There we go. There we go. Not a big one, just a different fish. Nice size little bluegill.
not a giant. Oh, but a good one. Perfect. Don't even need to use the tweezers. About as big as that other one. Not bad. Little hump head perch. Not bad, not bad. I think that's one of our bigger ones. I think that's the biggest one of the day so far. They're about average size. Hey. Another one bites the dust. Woo! I still not waxy. Yeah, that's fine. Another little perch for the pot. There we go. Perch. Get off there. There we go. Uh, another not so bad one in the pile. And back down we go. Ah, dang it, little guy. Oh, jeez. It's not a perch. That's not a perch. Oh. It's a good size pike. Oh, it's a good size pike. Oh no. God, please don't lose this fish. I like this bait. Oh my God. Oh. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, no. Oh, please don't lose this fish. Now my damn sleeve's all wet, son of a bitch. Oh, get up here. Get up here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my god. What a beast. There's my jig. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got a family. There they are. Get out of there. On a pink jig and a double tail waxy. Are you kidding me? Try to get the big camera out here. Oh, my hands don't work. <laughs> I know it's not a giant by any means, but this is a nice fish for for here. This is a nice fish. Oh wow! Alrighty. Well, look at the colorations on that bike. Oh, what a great fish. What a great fish. Alrighty. Now, normally I wouldn't do this because half the time I don't like pike, but not all of them are bad. We're going to send her back. jaws out of me for a minute. Here she goes. <laughs> that just made my day. Oh. I was, I was wondering, because I seen a big old mark on the screen. Or a bunch of little marks. And then one big one came up and just whack right at my jig. And it was that pike. That's that's awesome. That is awesome. Oh well. Keep on fishing, I guess. What a big surprise. Oh, I love that. Switched up to a plastic because I just wanted to see because I got it in a mystery tackle box and I kind of just wanted to try it. And then this, the bobber, so the minnow is be bopping around. Something is uh, looking at it, getting it all scared. But I'm getting a lot of looks on this uh, minnow here. Looks like I'm about to get hit here, too. Hey, something bit the plastic. <laughs> Little guy. Another one. Oh, no, you don't. I need that back, sir. Open your face. Holy man, he ain't gulp that. And I gotta get down there because I'm gonna fish down there. Eh. Oh, don't be getting all tangled up on me right now. I don't have time for that. Man, he clobbered that thing. I kind of figured they like that. Mm 
Oh yeah, if I haven't mentioned. And if you're ever in town, oh here comes a fish right now. Here comes one. Oh, stopped. Mark got bigger. In the mud. Town, 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 town. And work your way up. Okay, I don't think that fish is going to bite. But if you are ever in Chippewa at any time and you're here to do some fishing on Lake Wasoda or the Chippewa River, Duncan Creek, you name it, highly recommend you go to Bill Sports Shop. Johnny, the uh, guy who kind of runs the show there, he can get you set up on just about anything for any season. We are decked out year-round for all kinds of different fishing. People who know their stuff, so licenses, tags, live bait, all the basics. Ain't got nothing really fancy, but we got all the basics that you need to succeed while fishing up here. And we also carry a lot of really nice rods as well. St. Croix is probably one of our biggest sellers. From panfish to musky and sturgeon, like we have it all there. So I highly recommend you go in there and check Bill Sports Shop out. And if you're lucky, you might run into me while I'm working as well. So yeah. Little guy. Little, little guy. Ah, you spiky little MFer. Like, tiny. Tiny little dude. Just a pipsqueak. But those are the ones that we want. Because the whole point of this video is to show you guys what you can do with all these small fish. And I'm hoping that this video doesn't end up being like a half hour long. But if it's going to be, it's going to be. So. Got some good bit of fishing in catch, a little cook, a little release. But the perch took over and then kind of almost wiped out the bluegill and crappie population all together. And then slowly over the past three, four, five years they've been trying to make a comeback. I think my phone just died. Sure did. Well, I'm gonna try recording me catching a couple more fish, hopefully, and then I'm gonna pack up and head out. So, catch a couple more, see what happens. This is a big mark. Oh, please smack it. Please smack it. Whatever this is. Ah! Oh. Come back! No! Oh no, shit! Oh no way. That's a pike. That is for sure a pike. Oh my gosh. Oh, this thing's not moving. 
Oh, this thing is not moving. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh, this might be bigger than the last one. Because this thing is just solid, not move. Oh my god, it's huge! It's huge! It's huge! Oh my god, this thing is massive. Way bigger than the last one. <laughs> On an ultralight custom rod with six pound braid. And a six pound fluorocarbon leader oh are you kidding me oh oh, oh. <laughs> okay now i definitely know you're recording oh please don't get off please don't get off this is a big fish this is a big fish right as i was saying i was gonna pack up Please get up here. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, no. She ain't ready yet. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, you gonna cooperate now? Oh my gosh, my that jig is all the way in its mouth. What's up, buddy? Oh, come on! Oh! <laughs> oh my God! What a beast, dude! Right in the top of the beak. Oh, that could not be more perfect. And I can't even get it on my phone because my phone just died. Oh. I don't even know. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Get it out of your face. Oh my god. <laughs> what a beast. And it looks like it got screwed up before in the past. It just got some weird looking scales there. Oh my gosh. What a monster pike for over here. And now I let that little one go before, Ugh. but this one, I'm not going to let go because this fish is perfect for exactly what I want to do with it. So sadly, this one is coming home with me. Oh my gosh. I got to get your, I got to get a measurement on you. Oh. oh no you don't <laughs> 29 and a half what a beefy fish which means that other one was probably about 28 27. 
That's a good pike. Is there bigger ones out there? Yes, for sure there is. But that is a healthy, healthy winter pike. Yeah. I've got a live minnow down there. Not four feet away from that jig. And they just don't care. They don't care. <sighs> All right. I'm going to let you guys know if there's a, another fish or something.